This is Sparta! Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we are in Tornado. The one, the only, the Tornado. <laughs> now, let me give you guys a bit of backdrop, okay? I had already had some recordings and, and stuff and uh, I decided that yesterday I needed to just sleep. And by decided to sleep, I mean I literally came home, was ready to record, and fell asleep, and slept until it was time to get ready for work. <laughs> so I apologize to you guys for not getting you some videos last night, but sometimes my body just says, you know what, we've already recorded like 15 videos this week, let's just go ahead and take a day off. <laughs> uh, but yeah, seriously, uh, you guys know I love you guys, I appreciate all the support. We're over 2100 uh, subscribers already like we just hit 2,000 and we've already got another hundred this is ridiculous uh, you guys are absolutely incredible so uh, yeah so I was like you know what the other day I was I was already done recording and I was like you know let's run tornado just for the S and G you know just for the the fun of it let's just run tornado see what happens and in my very first match this happens hello how are you doing Okay, so you thought that that was going to be a paddling. I apologize, but it was a good hit. 700 damage. Now, we got a message from Bootsy right there. Now, I didn't know who Bootsy was at the time, uh, but and I didn't get a chance to check his message because I'm in the middle of a battle. I don't know who he is. Maybe he was a random guy before me, or before from another match or something where I'd played one of the other tanks. Uh, but no, no, Bootsy is actually a, a uh, guy who watches the channel, and he is in a chieftain in this very match and the message that he sent me was pretty funny actually oh hello tvp please get predictable are you good yeah he's running put the shot ahead of him 1.6 second flight time shot out and pow <laughs> good night tvp 1034 damage you know what that means that was a padlet so yeah so bootsy is in the Chieftain on, on the enemy team, of course. Sends me a message and he says, Please, no paddlings. <laughs> well, uh, I apologize, but uh, we've already got one. <laughs> Didn't take long, did it? T10 broadside on to an 8-inch howitzer. Shot out. Oh, come on, baby. You know you got this. Oh, we just come up a little bit wide. He gets out of the way just in time. Had he sat there half a second longer. That was probably deletion. But he gets away with it. And the Lorraine's pretty lucky, too, because he was on top of the hill. He could have intercepted that round. That would have been hilarious. Now, we have the Sturv, or Stridsvon, as I've been, uh, you know, told from the PC guys from World of Lull. <laughs> the Stridsvon over here, just begging for it. That big flat top. No armor. Please, God, let this hit. Shot out. Oh, here we go. No, it overshoots just barely missing the top of his tank you see me zoom in because like that shot didn't miss by much that was a paddling waiting to happen he would have died uh, you just don't hit something like that with uh i mean i could have hit his track i guess if i hit his track he probably would have survived maybe would have caused a fire but uh hello death star you, i see you still looking awful fine over there 800 health and all shot out come on baby hit where i aim no! <laughs> Why would you hit all the way over there? That was clearly not where I aimed that shot. <laughs> Just a few inches to the left, and that's death. Come on, game. Help me out. But Spartan, they already gave you a paddling. Yes, but I want more, because I'm greedy. We've already got four hits, though, guys. We're doing all right, is what I'm saying. <laughs> we have fired the gun five times, and we have four hits. Yeah. It's going to be one of those games. Stridsvon, are you seriously going to sit there? Shot out. Pow. And we set him on fire and kapowie. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't quite a thousand damage, but it was everything he had to give. So, to me, that was another paddling. <laughs> and the T-10's running away. He's like, screw this already. I'm out of here. Oh, sunshine. You are going to make a mistake. 
Please. Oh, he's disappeared and there ain't anybody gonna spot him for a minute. Uh, Death Star. Nope, Death Star's gone. Uh, Lorraine, how you doing up here, Lorraine? I don't have the shot over the mountain. That's not preferable. Are we gonna... Nope, he's not gonna back up enough. It's unfortunate, but it is a thing. So then we look over here, this guy disappears. And I'm like, oh, okay, we gotta help these guys push this left flank. Okay, now I had told these guys, because our heavy tanks all wanted to go to the right, I told these guys initially, I was like, guys, there is no reason for you guys to push that far left corner. Your heavy tanks are not with you. Shot, come on, shot out on the T-57. Are we gonna nail them? Nope, we're gonna splash right between them. Doing damage to both tanks. So, actually, a pretty good hit there. Uh, but, yeah. So, I told him, I was like, dude, you guys are going to be outnumbered. You're going to be outmuscled. Just sit back, let them come out, and just isolate whoever decides to pop out. Problem is, this IS-7 is hauled down behind a dead tank. Which isn't preferable. But, from an arty standpoint, this is exactly the kind of match that I enjoy. Because... I've already been able to work over the right side pretty hard, and these guys can't push up on the left. Now that time we come up a little short, we hit his gun. Did you see that? We actually hit his gun and we did no damage to his tank at all. Not preferable. But, because these guys are, are coming towards our team, and our team is pretty well holed up, they're, they're not giving themselves up easily to be killed, so uh, that's a good thing. But. This IS-7 is still hauled down, just absolutely working our team. So we take the shot, and it looks like a good hit. Yes, it was. 500 damage to the back of his tank, and uh, he is now rethinking his life priorities. Now, here we have the T-57, and there's Bootsy and his chieftain. We finally meet him. Now, again, I had no idea <laughs> until the end of the match who Bootsy was or that he was in the match with me. So uh, I'm not singling him out to single him out. I'm singling him out because he's a chieftain, which means he's a squishy target, and he's getting very close to my position. Now here, I was not expecting him to go rolling straight out into the open. So good move for him, bad move for me. Usually somebody will pie the corner there where they'll pull up to the corner and they'll stop and just peek around. He does that, he is a dead man because I'd already had him like zeroed in. He was gonna die if he decided that was what he wanted to do. Now this Type 4 Heavy has given our team fits again. So uh, we aim at him initially, then we come back up here to see if we can hit the Chieftain. Is he gonna give us a shot? It doesn't appear so. So uh, we're waiting. We know there was an IS-7 here and we're just waiting for him to do exactly what the Chieftain just did. So uh, where is he and when is he? Oh, there he is. Get ready, Spartan. He's going to come. You know he's going to come around the corner. Wait for it. And he disappears. Now, I know that he's, his goal was to get around the corner, get to where the chieftain is. But I was hoping he would get lit up. Unfortunately, everybody that was spotting like gets behind cover just in time to not spot this guy until he gets across. And once they're behind this ridge line, I can't do anything with them. However, <clears throat> the Type 4 back here, I can hit. It'll be a tough shot, but as long as we land near him, we'll hit him. And unfortunately, we clipped the top of the mountain. Darn it. <laughs> I was trying to just splash near him, because he only has 200 health. If I splash anywhere near him, he's dead. But, it wasn't meant to be. Now he's he's paddled up, or he's, he's cuddled up behind that, that ridge line. These guys are cuddled up behind the ridge line, and I'm getting uncomfortable. We're still losing the match. They still have their arty, so I'm going to back down below the ridge line, and uh, I'm going to put myself in position to not be detected and still be able to shoot these guys. You know, that's what you need to do. That's why I like this corner so much, because when all else fails, you can go down fighting for a long time. Now here, Bootsy makes a mistake, pokes around just a little too far, and we make him pay for it. Luckily for him, we caught the edge of his track and only do 800 damage instead of over 1100 damage and killing him. But, you know, it's a thing. Now look over to my right, you see the Type 4 is out in the open now? Immediately gets my attention. It's like, alright, if you want to go out there, I'll be loaded shortly. <laughs> just wait for it, sunshine. 
You're gonna love my next trick. <laughs> oh, come on. Get loaded, tornado! Shout out! Is he really gonna be able to run away from it, folks? Absolutely not. <laughs> and down he goes for our third kill of this match with 10 hits and three kills. That's a pretty darn good game. Uh, but we're not done yet, folks. We still got three people left to kill, and we finally have the advantage. So, uh, yeah, it's getting good. Now, this IS-7 knows that I am the biggest threat on my team right now. He, he does know that he can be pinned by the other guys. But right now, the one person that has been controlling this match for my team has been me. So he's trying to play as safe as possible. Unfortunately, we miss this shot and it goes right over the back of his tank and splashes right in our face. Just rubbing it in, isn't he? And now watch what he does next. He's like, that freaking Artie just is relentless. I can imagine what he's thinking right now. He's like, this freaking Artie, I'm going to murder him. I swear to God, when I get through these three medium tanks, I'm coming for the Artie and I'm going to ruin his face. That's what he's thinking. However, what I'm thinking is, just give me a piece. That's all I ask. Just a piece, IS-7. I don't ask much, just a little piece. Now, you see the gap between the two buildings, right? That little gap is barely big enough to fit an 8-inch shell through. <laughs> but, oh, nope, Bootsy goes down in the Chieftain. We've got the Waffentrager Panzer IV real close. We've got no shot on him. He's almost dead. So that just leaves us to concentrate on this IS-7. And watch this shot. Like, of all the times that you get the shot to go exactly where you aim, how about this one for you? Wait for it. Right between the buildings. Can I do it? Shot out. Frame by frame. Here it comes. Right between the buildings. And pow. <laughs> That's the battle, folks. <laughs> for our fourth kill, our 11th hit, and I'm losing my mind because I just squeezed that shot through an almost impossible gap for this big of a gun. So, how'd we do, folks? <laughs> We've made 56,000 silver, 4,700 XP, 4 kills, 6,900 damage. Mastery Ace Tanker, Gore's Metal, High Caliber, still floating above two marks, Arsonist, we got it all, Reaper. So if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.